That's for sure. <laughs> Should I do it in Spanish? On this episode of Throwdown, we're making one of my all-time favorite dishes, fish tacos. Stop touching the fish. <laughs> Cesar Gonzalez is committed to making this Mexican classic the authentic way. It's a great job, but somebody's got to do it. And he's working hard to spread the word. You guys like to try one of my world-famous fish tacos? But I'm no stranger when it comes to rolling up one of these tasty handfuls either. These are delicious. So I'm heading to sunny San Diego to see if my East Coast tacos can stand up to the real deal. But will my fish tacos be able to quiet my trash-talking competition? I'm Cesar Gonzalez, and you're watching how many gringos does it take to make a fish taco? <laughs> My name is Bobby Flay. My mission, to find the best of the best. My objective, perfecting their signature dish. The plan of attack, I'm showing up to challenge them, but they don't know it. I may win, I might even lose. It's anybody's game. It's the ultimate throwdown. Uh, you got the newspaper? Sure. What's up with this paper? I got it. See ya. All right, got my new mission. Let's see what it is. Fish tacos. One of the best dishes in America, fish tacos. Let's take a look. Cesar Gonzalez of Mama Testa in San Diego, California. Good morning, San Diego. Born in Mexico and raised in San Diego, California, Cesar Gonzalez claims that his fish tacos are the best in the world. And his restaurant, Mama Testa, has won rave reviews from countless critics and customers alike. My mission in life is to make sure that everybody in America knows what a delicious fish taco is. Caesar thinks he's being tapped by Food Network to start a special on Mexican cuisine called Authentic Mexican. I'm Caesar Gonzalez. You're watching Authentic Mexican here on the Food Network. To beat him at his own game, you'll have to take this traditional dish to the next level. We put so much love and care into every single one of our fish tacos that ever comes out of our kitchen. They're out of this world. There's no competition out there for us. Classically, fish tacos are fried fish. We're going to put this in the fryer. And then the question remains, what do you wrap them in? Are they corn tortillas, flour tortillas? It's going to be tasty no matter what. All right, Caesar, I'm coming to San Diego, California, and I guarantee you one thing. The people of San Diego are going to be hooked on my fish taco. Cesar Gonzalez is a man on a mission. How would you guys like to try one of my world-famous sure. fish tacos? Love to. Sounds, Sounds good. really good, yeah. All right. All right. All right. There's a little trick, though. You guys have to answer a question for me. You guys know when we celebrate Mexican independence? How about Cinco de Mayo? Uh, Cinco de Mayo. All I can think of is Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> One of the biggest misconceptions that Americans have about Mexican culture is Cinco de Mayo. They think that's Mexican independence. What are they thinking? Cinco de Mayo was actually just to celebrate a small battle in a bigger war that we were fighting. It's not Mexican independence. Uh, September 16. Perfect. You win. Yay. Help yourselves. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. These are really good. These Thanks. are good. His passion to teach people about the real Mexico started the day he moved to this country. When I first moved to the States, my family took me out to celebrate 12 places at a Mexican restaurant. It was horrible. No, it's really sad to see American restaurants mess up Mexican food. Why do they have to make it complicated? Mexican food should be simple. It's sad to see. It's an atrocity. We have to stop it. Caesar has a few suggestions for you Mexican restaurants out there. Stop using yellow cheddar cheese. Stop using sour cream on anything you make. Stop using yellow onions on everything. Stop it. And with that in mind, he opened Mama Testa. You know, I really don't consider myself a chef. I consider more of myself of a food lover, somebody that loves Mexican culture, Mexican food, the Mexican flavors, and I wanted to show that with the public. And share he does. From the state of Oaxaca, from the state of Guanajuato in Mexico, and this is what we play with. You know, Mama Testa, we want to always do everything as authentic as possible and as original as possible. Original, like his best-selling fish tacos. For all those people that still don't know what a fish taco is, it's fish, it's a tortilla, it has Mexican coleslaw, they're crunchy, they're tender, they're spicy, they're delicious. Mama Testa wins the usual awards, which is nice, but that's not the one Caesar cherishes the most. I would say the biggest award that we have is when people come in and they tell us they're the best fish tacos they've ever had. Caesar thinks he's playing Proud Popper for a Food Network special. I'm Cesar Gonzalez, and you're watching. But will it mess up his mojo when I show up? OK, so fish taco. I really love when a plate of food actually has a story to tell. I'm guessing that Caesar is going to basically put his life on a plate of fish tacos. That's going to be my guess.
The ones that I do at Bar American, I just take some red snapper or a flaky white fish like halibut would work as well, and I season it with some salt and pepper and I grill it. And then I take a vinaigrette, basically, with citrus juices and some fresh basil and some oil. Now, you can use corn tortillas, which are the classic ones. I like the texture of the flour tortillas because they're nice and pliable, okay? So here's how I make a fish taco, very simply. I just take a piece of my, my snapper. I like to have some crunch in my slaw with red cabbage, some white cabbage, some carrots. And then this is actually a, a mango and habanero hot sauce. And then this is a, this is a pureed tomato salsa. I have some avocado relish here, which is sort of like a guacamole. And just wrap it up, and there you have a fish taco. That's good. All right, Caesar, get ready, because I'm coming to San Diego with my entire fish taco arsenal. Caesar takes his fish for a dip. We'll just let it swim. And I take my taste buds for a ride. Woo! Yeah, well, I said whole hot. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Caesar starts every morning at the same place, picking up corn tortillas for the day's tacos. All right, you guys have a good one, all right? Yeah, you too. Hasta luego, buenas tardes. Caesar's starting fresh, and I'm getting hungry. We're making fish tacos. Are they fried? Are they grilled? Is it mahi? Is it snapper? Is it spicy? Is it not? Food Network Test Kitchen? Let's find out. My trusty assistants, Miriam and Stephanie, we're gonna have to go to San Diego for this to go down. When I think of fish tacos in this country, I think San Diego. Welcome to Mama Testa, guys. We're gonna show you today how to make the world famous fish taco Mama Testa style. First, I'm gonna show you how to make our salsa fresca. We're gonna make an avocado and tomatillo relish. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make a, uh, a fire roasted tomato salsa, a habanero and mango hot sauce. And we're also gonna make a cabbage slaw, and we'll have a nice, crispy, crunchy slaw to go on the fish tacos. We only use white onions at Mama Testa. It's a more pungent flavor, so it's definitely gonna bring out a lot more flavors. We're gonna start by making a mango and habanero hot sauce. So we'll take a little bit of canola oil and some diced ripe mangoes. The salsa's heat comes from the habanero pepper we've roasted and peeled. You gonna use the whole thing? Yeah, why not? Let's get some heat in there. We have the mangoes and habaneros and rice wine vinegar and honey, and I'm just heating it all up together just to kind of bring all the flavors out. We toss it all in the blender. I just hope it's got enough heat. Just, okay, Hi. all right. Woo! Yeah, I said whole habanero. Who let the dogs out? It's you good. Said, why not? No, I like that. You're gonna get the tanginess from the cilantro, the lime, and the salt, mixing with the tomatoes and the onions. Let's make the avocado tomatillo salsa. Yep. To start, we combine equal parts fresh avocado chunks and raw tomatillo. And then we're gonna take some chili serrano or jalapenos, some fresh cilantro, and then some lime juice. Everything green. Think about it that way. We have chopped up all of our ingredients for our salsa fresca. This is what it looks like when the, when the product is finally done. We have our tomatoes, our onions, our jalapenos, our cilantro, lime, and salt. Let's make our cabbage slaw. Orange juice, lemon juice, some Dijon mustard, some extra virgin olive oil, a touch of honey, and then some fresh basil. And what we're doing here is we're making the dressing for the slaw, but we're also gonna reserve some to uh, splatter on top of the fish when it comes off the grill. We are gonna start by using green cabbage. We're gonna use some carrots. We're gonna put red cabbage as well. We want green and red for flavor and color. We're gonna add our salsa fresca. And we're gonna use our mayo, main ingredient on the Mexican coleslaw. So we have red cabbage, Napa cabbage, onion, and carrot. And we're gonna take our citrus dressing. And you just wanna sort of glaze the, uh, the cabbage and the vegetables with this dressing. We don't want to drown this. We want this to be nice and crunchy. If you can tell the colors that come alive, that's the reason why we use the green and the red cabbage. You want it to represent the Mexican flag. And now that we have the fillings inside, we need the most important part, which is the fish. And we're only going to use catfish. The people in the state of Guerrero would get upset at me if I didn't use anything other than guatete, which is what they call it over there. Here in the States, we like to call it catfish. Classically, a lot of people fry the fish for tacos. But we're actually going to grill them, and we're going to use some mahi-mahi. Now we have to get our batter. We're gonna start with all-purpose flour. We're gonna add some baking powder to it. We're gonna use a cup of dark beer and the secret ingredient, a little bit of hot sauce. I'm grilling mine because, you know, it retains the freshness of it, you know? We're holding it until we see that it starts frying and the batter adheres to the fish. Once we know it's ready, we just let it swim. 
You know that these are uh, done because they had some give. It, you can almost kind of push your, your finger right through them. See that nice golden shine to them? That means they're nice and crispy on the outside, really nice and soft and tender in the inside. And now what I like to do is to take my citrus vinaigrette and just put it right on top of the fish. Yeah, it just wakes it up. Let's talk tortillas. We have flour tortillas and we have corn tortillas. The thing about corn tortillas is that they're not as pliable as flour tortillas. Corn has more flavor, obviously, and corn is, I would say, more authentico. We only use corn tortillas basically because they're the ones that came out of Mexico. We're gonna heat them up just a little bit so they're nice and tender when we fold them up to make our tacos. All right, can I make you a taco? We're gonna position the fish right into the tortilla. We're gonna put a little toothpick to hold them down, just like so. We're gonna put this in the fryer. Get ready, we're only about 30 seconds away. So some grilled fish, mm. some cabbage slaw, just a little bit of everything. We top our tacos with the mango habanero hot sauce, some avocado tomatillo relish, and a drizzle of the roasted tomato salsa mixed with Mexican-style crema and fresh thyme. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. This is our finished product. Look at all the colors. Don't they just jump out of the screen and tell you that you want to eat me? Flour or corn? Let's take a vote. I'm um, corn. I, yeah, typically, I love flour, but I have to say corn. It's right. got to be corn. The flavor is amazing. Mmm. Delicious. Believe me, you want to hurry up and come down here to Mama Testa and try this. You got to hurry up because there's a line out the door. They want to eat my world-famous fish tacos. It's got heat. It's got sweet. It's got texture. It's got flavor. It's got smokiness. It's got creaminess. We, have, we, we basically have hit every texture in a fish taco. Hey, Al Caesar of San Diego. We can't eat beat these fish tacos. <laughs> Don Yamanito in el restaurant Mama Testa. It's a festa in San Diego's Balboa Park. And Caesar Gonzalez is getting everybody into a fish taco mood. I'm Caesar Gonzalez, and you're watching. But he has no way of knowing that everybody includes me. We're in San Diego, and we're about to issue a fish taco throwdown. We're gonna beat him with our condiments, our salsas, mango habanero salsa, avocado relish. Tomatillos, yeah. Tomatoes. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on. And the coleslaw for that crunch. Crispy and crunchy. Who's ready for some fish tacos? I guess the show just changed. We're gonna start making some cabbage soup. The Irish guy just showed up. So, sorry guys, no fish tacos. We're going Irish. I've heard a lot about you, did my research, and so that's why I got on a plane this morning in New York to come out here to beautiful San Diego. Yeah! Are you ready for a fish taco throwdown? Bring it on. I walked into quite a party when I crashed Tisa Gonzalez's Fish Taco Fiesta in San Diego. How's everybody doing today? While we get our station set up, I run through ingredients with Caesar to see what kind of fish taco I'm up against. What kind of fish do you use? Catfish. Catfish? Are they fried? They're fried. I see tomatillos, radishes, onions, avocados. Avocado. What do you got here? Secret sauce. I can't tell you what's in there. There must be some chipotle in there. There is not. I know you no? you're a fan of chipotle. Oh. And what do you this. got here? We have dark beer for my beer batter. Dark beer? Beer batter. Well, we have some similarities, but we have some differences, so it's going to be totally fun. All right. <laughs> it. It's an honor to be here with him. He's not just going against me, he's going against Mexico. Be ready for that, Bobby. If I'm going to go up against Mexico, I better have Caesar teach me to toast, Mexican style. Pa arriba. Pa arriba. Pa el centro. Pa el centro. Pa adentro. Pa adentro. I'm Mexican. It's in my blood. There's nothing I can do better than taco. Caesar's also pretty good at talking smack. I'm Caesar Gonzalez, and you're watching how many gringos does it take to make a fish taco. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, somebody that likes me. 
So let's have this salsa fresca. Let's get the carrots in there. Let's do the mayo. Finally, Caesar and his crew get started. We're making the mango and habanero hot sauce. Some Spanish onion, mangoes, a little orange juice, habanero chilies, uh, some white wine vinegar. All right, let's start doing the fillets for the fish tacos. Let's take the extra fat off of it. Nice and thin slices. There we go. We have a lot to get ready before we even break out our fish. It's going to take forever to do this. Hey, Bobby, you feeling nervous over there? We're nervous. Are you shaking yet? We all your scratch talking. These better be unbelievable fish tacos. <laughs> Steph gets going on the avocado tomatillo relish. I'm excited to try his uh, fish taco. He seems to be talking a good game, so we shall see. We got to get it dry, make sure that the beer batter is going to stick to it. Now we're going to make the, uh, the roasted tomato chipotle salsa with some crema mexicana. Miriam is almost there with the citrus vinaigrette. It needs a lot of basil. We're going to use the, uh, the citrus vinaigrette to put on top of the fish and also for the coleslaw. And you know it's a good throwdown when you can't hear yourself think. I can't hear you. Guacamole looks very authentic. Oh, thank you. With our toppings looking good, I break out the fish. We have some mahi-mahi. I love the classic fried fish taco like Caesar's making, but I'm hoping the grill will give me an edge. I like the flavor of the smoke from the grill. Bobby, this is seriously an honor. I just want you to know. <laughs> thank you. I don't care how much trash I talk, <laughs> but it's really an honor to we have We like you that. Here. Thank you. Welcome to San Diego. While Caesar puts the finishing touches on his fish taco... This is what a fish taco should look like. If it doesn't look like this, it's not a fish taco. Come on, you guys, let's go. We have to figure out how to put ours together. Put this on top of the fish, then the tomato goes second, and then the avocado, and then this. Bobby, there you go. Thank you. I, mean, I traveled a long way for these, man. You did. I hope you love them. That's good. I like the mahi-mahi. This is very good. And the fish is cooked perfectly. I like your look fancy. Take fancy. You guys ready for some fish tacos? I love Caesar's tacos because it's a fried shell and it's a fried fish. What's that to love? I like Bobby's dish better. It's fresh and it's grilled. The flavors of the mango salsa with the guacamole was awesome. It was the palm and digging. So I'm a fish taco aficionado, but I gotta tell you, Caesar's tacos were that traditional crispy, got the deep fried thing going, it was delicious. I like Bobby better. I like spicy food and it had a good spice to it. When you want a fish taco, you want Caesar's fish taco. It's delicious. Looks like it's gonna be close. Let's see what today's judges think. My name is Louis Husong. I am from Ensenada, California, which is uh, where the fish tacos were actually originated. And I actually teach a class on fish tacos up there. Hola, my name is Marcela Valladolid. I'm a chef here from San Diego in Tijuana, Mexico. I grew up in Tijuana, so I absolutely know what a fish taco should taste like. We're gonna set the record straight today. <laughs> went fried and I went grilled for our fish taco throwdown in San Diego. Now it's time to see which taco our judges dub the winner. Their local chef and cooking show host, Marcella Valladolid, and fish taco expert, Louis Hussam. Tacos will be judged on three criteria, taste, texture, and authenticity. Just to shake things up, the judges start with B, my grilled mahi-mahi taco with cabbage slaw and three toppings. This looks like a grilled fish taco. It's nice and spicy. This fish is like super tender, very good. Yeah, it is quite spicy, but the texture and the doneness of the fish, I think, is seems kind of like a spin on the original taco. I think grilling a fish brings out much more the natural flavor. I love the combination of salsas. I think we needed a little more cabbage because you want to get more of that freshness when you're biting into that fish taco. Then they move on up the alphabet to A. Caesar's fried catfish taco with chili marita salsa and Mexican slaw. It's a little closer to the traditional version, that's for sure. I'd never had a fish taco where the tortilla was fried, but I think that the flavor combinations are great. It's a little spicy for me personally, but it's a great fish taco. It's very fresh. The donuts of the fish is great on this one, too. It's a more traditional fish taco. 
but I don't know, both, both great. They're both good fish tacos. <laughs> You sure you want to do this? Sorry to whoever doesn't get it. You made a decision? Made a decision, and uh, we're gonna go... A! I definitely want to thank Bobby and his whole team for coming out here. It's been an honor, it's been a pleasure. It was good to compete with Caesar. Great, great fish tacos. But, you know, what can we do? We can only try our best. <laughs> Mexico, number one. We had a great, great time. time. And it's beautiful. We wish we could stay longer in San Diego. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Uh, de nada. De nada. So to all you awesome cooks out there, keep doing what you do. But ask yourself this. Are you ready for a throwdown? Yeah.